Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the Puerto Rico Tip Off Tournament here in the LBSU Dynasty. We are sitting here in season four, and I think that this team is primed to win. We actually already played the first round. I didn't realize it was the first round. This is an eight team tournament and we absolutely dominated Lafayette. Now they were the number one seed. We were the eighth seed in this tournament and we have opened the eyes of the other teams. And next we will be playing Texas Southern who won 98 to 65 versus South Alabama. And they have a pretty good roster. And let's see if we can win once again and continue our hot ways to start this season. Because honestly, this team is so good right now. This is the best we've had here in this series. And I'm excited to see what we can do versus another great team in Texas Southern. They are one and one and they have a pretty good roster. Now, we do have some injuries going into this week, though. Blaine Ashley and Zion Storm are hurt. They must have got shaken up in that Lafayette game. Blaine Ashley gets the brunt of it, though. He's out a month. Zion Storm actually just has a sore wrist, and he is going to be out a week. So we will not be starting Zion Storm here in this game. We will actually have him in a limited role coming off of the bench. So Michael Workman, the freshman, will be getting the start in this one. So let's get into the second round here in this tournament. Here we are, a quick three right away, Macklin. And that is off the mark. Let's see what Workman can do in his first start as a point guard. Here's a steal right there. He's forcing his offensive player to the sideline. Workman in transition just pulls up. And it's good. How about the freshman Michael Workman getting going here in his first start? There's probably some nerves there. But he starts us out with a three-point bucket there. But then gives up an easy one. I think Workman's going to have some uh, tough work right away. As here's a steal this time. Nice save that time by Cooper. As we run up the court, Monsetti to Workman inside. And a layup. How about this? Getting the young guy going early. And now we have two buckets here for Workman early on. Here's Kayshawn Cooper inside. Throwing down the dunk. And that looked like a Shaq-esque dunk that time. Right under the rim. And we get going here with the 8-6 lead. Here is Monsetti from the outside. He gets going. And he gets his first bucket of the game now. 10 to 6 for Long Beach. But here is Texas Southern this time, pushing it up the court. And here is a pass inside and a block. Nice play by Douglas Taylor. Here we are on the other way. Cooper in transition, and he gets blocked. What a sequence that was. That was a block by Lucius Toupay. How about that name? And now here we are in a 10 to 8 game. Monsetti driving the lane, and there is a hop step layup. Great play that time by Monsetti here in his sophomore season. I'm looking forward to what he's going to develop into. Here's a pass outside. This time it's Workman for three, and he hits it. He's got eight early points, three for three from the field. And now Long Beach has a 15 to 12 lead. And here's Lucius inside. He gets the jump shot, and it's now back to a one-point lead. Workman gets the pick. He gets to the bucket and gets the bucket. It's an and one. How about that pick by Kayshawn Cooper coming off the bench? He's going to have to play some minutes now with Blaine Ashley Hurt. And now here we are with the four-point lead. Here is Brian Quick off the bench, the freshman. He gets inside, and it's an and one. And how about this? Our bench is really going to have to play a big role. You can already see Quick with the bucket. Cooper's playing some minutes, and Madoki's off the bench playing some defense. But there he does commit the foul. Now it's just a two-point game. 22 to 20 this time. Storm! Hits the three. How about that wrist? It doesn't look bad on that shot. And now with the 25 to 20 game. But here's Texas Southern. They're staying in this one. There is a coast to coast layup that time. Zion Storm playing a little bit too aggressive. And now it's just a four point lead. But here we are trapping them in the corner. Saved by Storm. Passed inside. And look at Southern passing it around. And a fadeaway shot. And they got to work for that bucket. But Addison gets the fadeaway too. And now it's just a three point game. So now a minute left here in the first half. Macklin pushes it up the court. He runs to his spot, but nobody's going to stop him. So he's going to shoot and knock it down. How about Macklin so far here in the first couple of minutes? And now here we are, 30 to 24. And now here is Storm pushing up the court. Macklin again, another shot from deep, and that's all he needed. Macklin started out the game 0 for 4, and then Storm comes in. I think he's just so used to playing with Storm. He hits two quick threes. And now here we are at the end of the first half. 
Let's see if we can get another shot here with 10 seconds left. Kayshawn Cooper misses the hook that time, and it's blocked inside. Douglas Taylor tries to get a bucket, and there is a half court, or a full court heave that time by Southern. And we do go into halftime with a seven-point lead here, 33-26. to 26. A very good start to this game by the freshman Michael Workman in the place of Zion Storm in the lineup. This is actually Storm's first game missed in the starting lineup as well. It's now 33-26. So here we go to start the second half. I think our offense has played pretty well. I think our defense just needs to tidy up a little bit. And let's see what we can do with Michael Workman. Here he is in, in the game. Monsetti with the move. Throws his defender. Monsetti definitely has an all-around game to him. And now it's a 35-26 game. A missed shot. Pushing up the court is William Caesar. Inside to Workman for the layup. How about Workman? He's got double digits here in his first start. And now Monsetti working up the court. Inside to Macklin. Another layup. It's now a double-digit lead here for Long Beach as Texas Southern tries to work back. Here's a layup inside. Good defense going straight up by William Caesar. Pushing up the court. Monsetti, he just stops and shoots and knocks it down. It is now the biggest lead of the game, 16 points. And now our bench starts to come in. Brian Quick, the freshman off the bench, he gets a layup. He is our best finisher inside. And now here we are with the 14-point lead. Nine minutes left in this game, passing it inside. Cooper with the dunk, and that one stretches it back to a 16-point lead. Good block that time. That time it's Douglas Taylor on the inside. Monsetti just pushing it up. And that is an aggressive layup. 15-point lead. It looks like this lead just isn't going away. And now here our bench is in the game. Quick over to Workman. Back to Storm in the corner. And he knocks it down. It's now an 18-point lead. So now 17 point lead here actually a 16 point lead another corner three this time it's storm again knocking it down our biggest lead of the game at 19 and now we're up to 23 in this game working it inside douglas taylor is now a 25 point lead this long beach team can hit you wherever as workman gets inside once again another layup and you can just see texas southern is just it's just too much to handle now. Long Beach is running away with this one. Monsetti in the post, a little fade away. I mean, Monsetti is just impressive. He knocks down that shot. As now the clock winds down inside of a minute left here in the second half. 23-point lead. Monsetti for a corner three. 26-point lead here for Long Beach. And we hold on to win this one, 72 to 46. Our defense definitely stepped up in the second half. They could not score at all. And our offense just continued to do what they did. And 72 to 46 ends up being the final. We absolutely dominated Texas Southern. And I can't believe the progress that we've made here in this series. I remember games like this where we faced teams like this where they would have won. But now it seems like Long Beach is just handily winning these games. Tamir Macklin had a pretty good game, 10 points off a couple three three pointers, but Monsetti stole the show here, 19 points. And then M Michael Workman, man, in his first start, he was spectacular, 14 points, three assists. He also had a few steals as well. It was just an all around good game. And Storm was still Storm, even though he had some limited minutes in this game, he still played his tail off and we got the victory. So coming off of that win, we are now in the Puerto Rico Tournament Conference Championship, and we will face Pittsburgh, who barely beat Central Connecticut by two points. So now here we are, the eighth seed in this Puerto Rico tip-off and facing the three seed in Pittsburgh in the championship game. Will we bring home our first in-season, I guess is the in-season uh, tournament here in this series? As Michael Workman gets the fresh gets the start once again in his second straight game, giving Zion Storm a little bit of rest. I don't want to aggravate that injury. We are also going up against Kurt Quick, who was a recruit we were actually recruiting last year. So this could be a little bittersweet here in this game. So we do win the tip off. Here is Workman working it up the court, passing it to the corner. Monsetti knocks it down and gets us going here, three to nothing. So here's a fadeaway shot this time, and that is Ray Crockett. He is a senior. He hits that one. It's now a 3-2 game. I bet you this is going to be a really close game. Here is Pittsburgh on defense. But Macklin in the corner once again, and he hits it. 6-2 start here for Long Beach. And here we are getting Rip Monsetti that is at the top. And here is 
Ray Crockett working it inside this time, and that is going to be Bob Banks, the senior, and he gets a foul call, and they eventually tie this game up early on. So here is Workman this time, working it inside. Monsetti, a little baby jump shot that time from about eight feet. And now here we are with a two-point lead early on. Fadeaway shot missed that time. Rebound by Workman. Here he is pushing it up the court. He stops and sets up the offense, but sees a trailing Macklin, who takes the three, and he hits it. Two threes to start this game here for Macklin. And now it's an 11-6 lead as here's Monsetti driving the lane, and he gets fouled by Tristan Westbrook. And Monsetti can do it all. He leads the team here, 21 points per game here to start this season, shooting 55% from the field as well. Just an excellent start for Monsetti. And he knocks down both free throws. It's now a 13-6 lead. So now Pittsburgh goes to the line. Missed opportunity at the free throw line. Here's Monsetti going coast to coast, and he picks up another foul that time going to the lane. And he knocks down both free throws. It's now a 16 to 14 lead here. Six and a half to go here in the first half. So our bench checks in this time. Here is Storm getting the pick from Brian Quick. The pass it to the corner. This is Terrence Martin, the sophomore. He hits the three. And it's now a five point lead as Monsetti has possession here in the corner. Working it inside. William Caesar, a little hit hook this time and almost gets the and one. And you can just see Pittsburgh. Is not very disciplined on defense. They're following us quite a bit. But right back at us here is Brian Quick. He, I thought that was clean, though, but they call the foul anyway. So now in a two-point lead, here is Pittsburgh working it up in transition after the steal, a layup. And it's now a tie ball game. I said this game should be close. It looks like it's a close game early on. And now it's a 20-up game. So here is Pitt driving the lane this time, and that is Quick getting to the foul line, actually that's, uh, yeah, Kurt Quick, the freshman getting to the foul line. And he goes to the line, knocks down the first free throw, making it 21 to 20. So Pittsburgh has a lead. And that second free throw makes it a two point lead for Pittsburgh. So now here is Brian, here's Workman in the game. Michael Workman, he gets to the lane and he does hit the free throw, or hits the layup. And now it's a 22 up game. But good defense that time by Workman. And here is Douglas Taylor all alone. In transition, we get the steal. It's back to a two-point lead in LBSU's favor. But there is a dunk this time, blocked by Douglas Taylor. Pushing up the court is Macklin. Back around to Workman. Workman inside and gets it to go in traffic. It's back up to a four-point lead here for Long Beach. So rebound once again by Workman. Here he is pushing up the court. He is a very good passer. He finds the open man. It's Macklin for a deep two. 28 to 22. Macklin's got nine early points. So Storm checks in. Here he is from at the point, passing around. Monsetti, corner three, and it's good. Monsetti's got 12 points, and now it's up to a seven-point lead here. About a minute and a half left here in the championship game. But Pittsburgh will not go away. There's a tough shot that time. Fade away, making it just a five-point game. So Pittsburgh gets it back to a three-point game. Monsetti in the corner, though. Open again, and he nails it. 15 points for him in the first half. And now we're inside of a minute, six point lead. Here is Pittsburgh with possession, working it inside. And that is a foul by Douglas Taylor. And he is not happy about that call. And they do hit both free throws. Now with 10 seconds left in this game, four point lead. Here is Workman at the top, looking to get it to Storm, who shoots the three and he does nail it right before halftime. Pittsburgh inbounds and he heaves it up at half court. And it's off the front rim. That is a seven point swing here for Long Beach to end the first half. 39 to 32, definitely gonna be a good second half here in this game. The championship is on the line. So in this first half, we actually shot very, very well. 60% from the field and over 50% from three. So let's see if we can keep this efficiency up. So here's Pittsburgh this time, getting in the lane, this time guarded by Michael Workman. Good defense as we work it up the court. Here is Monsetti handling the ball, trying to get past Quick on the other team as he sets up the offense at the top, looking for the pick from William Caesar. He finds a lane to get through, and he does get fouled, going to the line once again. And Monsetti goes to the line this time, 15 points here in the first half. Now for his first time at the free throw line, and he shoots the first one, and it is good. Now an eight-point lead, and the second one also good. Now a nine-point lead here for LBSU. 
So here's a missed shot opportunity by Pittsburgh, pushing up the court. Monsetti in transition. He just stops and shoots, and it's good. How about Monsetti in this one? He's already got 20 points, and now it's a 44-34 game. Another steal. Monsetti gets the deflection. Here he is pushing it up the court. He can't get up very high, but he throws it down, and now it's a 12-point lead. Monsetti has scored the last eight points. So here we are once again on offense. Outside, it's Workman. He hits it. And Michael Workman has had a great two first couple of games in his first two starts. Zion Storm should be back in the starting lineup next episode. But here he is checking in, getting a nice pass inside to Kayshawn Cooper. And Cooper goes to the free throw line and knocks it down. And now it's a 50-34 to 34 game. So now it's up to 16 points. Missed shot that time, rebounded, push up the court. It's Monsetti again. He's feeling it. It's now a 19-point game. Monsetti's going for another 30-point game. Here he is in the corner, a little bit of a heat check probably, one-on-one. -on -one. He tries to take it inside, but then it gets ripped. But take a closer look. Monsetti comes up limping. I'm not really sure what happened on the play, but it looks like it's his left ankle. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But for now, he does remain in the game. And now with a 19-point lead, here we are on defense. Deflected by Workman. Picked up by Monsetti once again. It looks like that ankle is good. He gets it to the lane. A transition dunk. A 21-point lead at that point. And Monsetti is going to come out the game. The trainers will look at that ankle. But on that dunk, it didn't look bad. So now here's Storm checking back in. Kind of picking up the slack from Monsetti coming out. Here is a deep three this time. Pittsburgh tries to stay in it. They get it down to a 15-point lead now. And now they start to come back. Another jump shot. Down to a 13-point lead. But here is Storm now. He is our closer. Take a step back. He goes back to the three-point line and he hits it. Back to 16 points. Two and a half to go. It just may be too big of a lead to overcome. As we get the deflection here, here is Douglas Taylor running in transition. Back over to Storm and another layup. And he looks good in this one coming off of the bench. He should be fully healthy next episode. And here, one more time, Brian quick getting to the lane. He draws a foul. And with 42 seconds left, I believe this game is over. 16-point lead. Brian quick, the freshman, hits the first free throw. And now to stretch it to a 18-point lead, it's good. And now that one should be the game here. I don't know why Monsetti was checking back in. This game should be over. It's now a 16-point game. And we do eventually hold on and capture our first in-tournament championship. I guess our second championship here in this series. We won the Big West in Season 1. Now we win our first in-season tournament. And wow, we really, really surprised this field, I believe, because they had us at the number eight seed in the first game. We ended up winning by 30, and now we win by double digits once again. All three games were double-digit wins by at least 15 points. And how about this LBSU team? I mean, they are just special. We can hit them from everywhere now, inside, outside. Even our 10th man, 11th man off the bench can still run with these guys. I mean, that is just the depth that we have now. How about the emergence of Tony Monsetti? I mean, that guy is incredible. He had 31 points in this game. I think his game has now come full circle here in his second year, and he's averaging 22. I mean, I won't be surprised if he gets that up to 25 points per game by season's end. It's going to be a whole lot of fun seeing him play. Michael Workman had 10 and 7 in this game. Storm still had 13 points off the bench. I mean, you can't keep him down for long. But we end up winning our first in season championship. I'm happy about that. And Monsetti is not on the injury report. So that is a good sign as well. So we sit here at, I believe, 5 and 1 on the season. How about Monsetti? He is our leading scorer. I definitely am excited that we now have a score to take the burden off a of storm. And how about Douglas Taylor? He's averaging 2.2 blocks per game, 8.7 rebounds per game. The engine, I mean, he is obviously the motor of this team. I, I got to just say it. He is just so good on the inside and definitely takes pride in being that man in the middle on this team. So we are 5-1. 
Next episode, we will finish out non-conference play before hopping into conference play. I'm excited to see how good this team will be right now. The future looks very, very promising. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Back again like flu season. I broke records while loose leaf and I'm coming now. My roof leaving. Don't give a f I don't care. Uh did the f my lonesome. No wonder now I'm on one. No shortcuts on that long run. All I really want is my share. Uh get him, I got him, I told him it's nuts.